In today's video, we're going to delve into a new project template redesigned for working with Blazor for .NET 8. Blazor enables developers to build interactive web UIs using C Sharp instead of JavaScript, and when combined with the ServiceStack Blazor Components library, you can jumpstart your upcoming business application by ensuring seamless coordination between your web services and user interface. The new Blazor template is built with .NET 8, which means you can benefit from the latest features and improvements to not only Blazor, but to ASP.NET and .NET as a whole. A good example of a quality of life feature that's now built into .NET 8 is streamlining the process of creating Docker images with .NET Publish. This makes containerization and deployment smoother than ever, while also benefiting from some best practices that the .NET SDK automatically implements when containerizing your application. And for those familiar with ASP.NET Core Identity, we've also streamlined authentication and authorization to your service stack services. On top of that, we've baked in Tailwind CSS for styling, handing you a powerful toolkit to easily create stunning and adaptive user interfaces. To get started, we're going to create a new project based on this template using the service stack.net x tool and the command x new blazer space my app. This will scaffold out a new Blazor project called MyApp, which you can open with your favorite .NET IDE. Opening the AppHost project at the top, we can have a look at what we're working with when it comes to building a Blazor server application with .NET 8 using this template. The template sets you up with a robust starting point, utilizing SQLite as a database and integrating ASP.NET Core Identity for authentication. You'll find the Entity Framework migrations in the same migrations folder just like ORM Lite. To run these migrations and set up your database, you can use the command npm run migrate, as well as using the standard .NET EFCLI tools using the command .NET EF database update. Just like other server stack templates, we have split this solution into four projects, which is our app host, service interface, service model, and tests project. And since we have the availability of .NET 8 here, we're utilizing the .NET to Docker tools so we can use the standard .NET publish command to containerize our application automatically. This .NET 8 feature is utilized in the provided GitHub Actions for deployment, which allows you to automate the deployment of your application to a standalone Linux server via SSH. If you run .NET Publish locally and have Docker installed on your machine, we get an image that's pushed to our local Docker desktop application as we can see here. This greatly simplifies the process of containerizing your application and follows some of the best practices when it comes to security, like in ensuring that your application is running as a non-root Docker user within the published container. Running our project, we are greeted with a responsive application that utilizes Tailwind CSS and presents several example pages on this left-hand menu. Blazor for .NET 8 supports multiple render modes and makes a significant distinction between pages that have interactivity and pages that don't. So for this template that is pre-configured to use the interactive server render mode, it means that when interactive components are required, it is using the Blazor server method of hosting to process user interactions rather than say WebAssembly on the client. This means it has an active WebSocket connection with our browser passing messages to the server for every interaction we make with our user interface. This can be ideal for business applications where you have a lower latency connection but isn't well suited to internet hosting for public websites. However, when we navigate to the weather example page, it's using something called streaming rendering, since it's a non-interactive content that we are displaying on the page. This allows us as developers to provide a better user experience when it comes to presenting data that may take a longer time to process. Instead of holding up the loading of the whole page, the initial Chrome of the page is loaded and the long running process then streams the resultant HTML while seamlessly patching it into the existing DOM on the client. 
One of the great side effects of this approach means that if your application only has a few pages with interactive elements, your server will only maintain WebSocket connections with those users who are visiting those pages. The rest of the time, these WebSocket connections are managed automatically for you and actively disconnected as users navigate away from those pages with interactive elements. We've also upgraded the Service Tag Blazor components library for .NET 8, so you can streamline the creation of automatic UIs using components like AutoQuery Grid and AutoForm. Navigating to the Bookings example page in the template, we can see how this works by using AutoQuery Grid to manage bookings via a single component. This component integrates directly with auto query services, giving you a create, read, update, and delete interface from an easy to create service that is driven from your request DTOs and your database model. AutoQuery takes care of the implementation for the service for us and we just declare our model and our request DTOs that define the contract for that service. However, if you do need to customize specific operations of your auto query services, they can be overridden like any other service stack service. And the components like auto query grid and auto forms are highly customizable. A good example of this is the admin bookings page, which uses a lot of the defaults found in the auto query grid component versus the bookings page on the left hand side, which is more customized for users. You can customize things like the toolbar at the top and which options are available, as well as which columns to show and hide at different responsive levels in the UI. You can also override the data presentation of individual columns. If you still need a bit more control over your Blazor UI, but still want these generated forms we can see in the bookings create modal, you can use the auto form components to instantly get customizable forms you can use anywhere. And just like previously with Blazor for .NET 6, you can use these Service Stack Blazor components with Blazor Server or Blazor WebAssembly pages. Another great feature that Service Stack is incorporating into this Blazor template is the new support for ASP.NET Core Identity Authentication. The template comes set up with example usage for two-factor authentication, and just like the rest of the template, all these identity pages are utilizing Tailwind CSS already pre-configured, so you can make great looking account management UIs that have easy support for dark mode right out of the box. Using identity also means you don't change the way you secure your Service Stack services. They work exactly the same as if you were using the Service Stack authentication model. For example, on the create booking auto query request DTO, we can see the attribute used of validate has role, which specifies the role of the employee. And this is exactly the same attribute you would use if you're using the Service Stack authentication model, but now it's working with ASP.NET Core identity for authentication. Blazor for .NET 8 brings a range of quality of life improvements for creating Blazor applications, and our new Service Stack project template is designed to put all these enhancements right at your fingertips. From all the functionality and features that the Service Stack framework has to offer, combined with functionality like Tailwind, ASP.NET Core Identity, and Service Stack Blazor's component library, you have everything you need to create a great line of business application. Well that's it for this video, if you have any suggestions or feedback, leave a comment below and let us know how you're finding Blazor for .NET 8. You can also join us on our community discord or github discussions. Service Stack is free for individuals, so anyone is welcome, and as always, thanks for watching.